Israeli forces just exercise their right to self-defense again, as they open fire on a crowd of innocent Palestinian civilians in Gaza City, who gathered near a convoy of aid trucks hoping to get food. As a result, more than 100 people were killed and more than 700 injured in the massacre. The details of what really happened are still unclear, with Palestinian and Israeli officials both giving different stories of exactly what happened. The official Palestinian Authority news agency Wafa reported that Israeli tanks had opened fire with machine guns at thousands of Palestinian civilians who were waiting for aid to arrive. According to the Israeli military's version of what happened, Gazans had surrounded aid trucks and looted the supplies. As a result, dozens were killed and injured from pushing, trampling and being run over by the trucks. Here is what some of the people in Gaza had to say. We were trying to get some aid, then the soldiers and tanks fired at us. I could see people in front of me getting injured and people behind me getting shot in the hand and leg, so we left the boxes the aid and the food. Many of us are getting shot at on a daily basis and blood has been coming before the food. Since in the morning we have been receiving dead bodies and injuries in Al Shifa Hospital and around 35 to 45 dead bodies arrive, this happened as a result of them trying to get some food. When President Biden was asked about the latest massacre that happened in Gaza, he said, while he was still learning details of the shooting that killed or wounded hundreds in northern Gaza, he thought the deaths could jeopardize efforts to reach a ceasefire agreement between Israel and Hamas. When asked whether the shooting would complicate ceasefire negotiations, Mr. Biden said, I know it will. This complete contradicted what he said earlier this week that he hoped a ceasefire deal could be reached by next Monday. But when asked, he signaled that was unlikely, though he was trying to remain optimistic. Probably not by Monday, but I'm hopeful, he told reporters before traveling to Brownsville, Texas.